Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read a book, Animals in Fall, Preparing for Winter. Chapter One, Animals in Fall. Brr, the fall breeze gives me chills. My jacket keeps me warm. But what do wild animals do in fall? Animals know cool weather and shorter days mean summer is over. In fall, animals get ready for winter. Some animals go south, some go to sleep, and some change. Animals that go south in the fall migrate. Animals that sleep for the winter hibernate. Chapter two: Some animals go south. Whoosh! Gray whales spout through their blowholes. Gray whales. Have their babies near Mexico. The waters there are safe and warm. All summer they eat to build up a fat called blubber. In fall, gray whales swim from Alaska to Mexico. They live off the blubber as they migrate. Flutter, monarch butterflies fly south in fall. They usually fly all morning. They eat in the afternoon. They rest all night. They cannot live in cold weather. They migrate as far as three thousand miles, four thousand eight hundred kilometers. Millions of monarch butterflies rest together in trees. The branches of the trees sometimes bend down from the weight of so many butterflies. Honk. Canada, Canada geese fly low across the sky. They form a V shape. When northern lakes freeze, Canada geese migrate south. They stop to eat and rest on open water along the way. A flock of Canada geese often flies the same road each year. It also stops to rest in the same places. Chapter three. Some animals sleep. Grr! Black bears gobble fruits and nuts in the fall. They gain as much as three thirty pounds, fourteen kilograms each week. Black bears look for a small den. They sleep in this safe place when cold weather comes. Black bears hibernate for most of winter, but sometimes they wake up. On very warm days, they might go look for food. Then they go back to sleep. <sniffs> Rattlesnakes slither to their dens in fall. They hibernate in caves or holes in the ground that will not freeze. Hundreds of snakes may gather in one place. Rattlesnakes often return to the same den each year. Young rattlesnakes are born in fall. They sometimes do not eat until spring. Chapter four: Some animals change. Hop, snowshoe hares change color in fall. Their brown fur helps them hide most of the year. But in winter, they must be white to match the snow. This color protects them from animals that might eat them. Snowshoe hares stay very still when they sense danger. Munch. White-tailed deer crunch acorns and grind leaves in fall. Eating lots of food helps deer get extra fat on their bodies. They live off fat, their fat, during the winter. Food is harder to find in the winter. White-tailed deer grow thicker coats in the fall. Their coats keep them warm. Chapter five, ready for winter. Look, I see the first snowflakes. Fall is over. Winter is here. The animals are ready.